Okay, in this video we're going to be uh, basically uh, flashing a uh, Ethernet card, which is a Ethernet uh, 1756E NBT. Um, so this is current version, and we're going to look through our RS Link setup that we currently have. This current version is um, at a firmware of 4.008. Uh, which is fine, but there is some some issues with that version. So what we want to do is take it up a little bit higher so that we, we have the ability to set this particular uh, EBNT to have the unicast ability. And right now it currently does not have that unicast ability. So with the firmware that it has, um, you cannot take it and talk to, say for instance, you you can't talk to a newer um, EN2T uh, Ethernet card. So I um, just wanted to kind of bring that up. If you are, you know, if you have had that happen or run into that experience, the, the one way to get out of it is to simply just flash it up. So what we'll do is we'll use uh, Control Flash. <coughs> and we'll go through Network. Um, again, I'm using... Um, control flash 12 so in case you were using a different version um, control flash 12 and up I believe you make your own um, like firmware kits so um, let's just go through this so 1756 and we have an EBNT or EN yeah ENBT and we want to make it compatible uh, with the um, or have the compatibility to go up to and and have the unicast capability and you get unicast I believe um, it's like I want to say it's uh, firmware 5 and above but we're gonna take it to the highest version we have which is 6.6 .6. um, you know we have all the versions so that we can take it back as deep as we want to but we want what we want is to have the capability to have unicast so we're going to go ahead and select that and we're going to flash it okay so uh, while we're flashing it uh, real quick i want to talk about the benefits of unicast um you don't so if you have a standard ebnt uh then and you don't have the unicast capability then it's it is uh broadcasting and multicast so that's that's putting a lot more um, weight and um, I guess unnecessary data that's going across your uh, Ethernet communications. So your bandwidth is somewhat slowed down if you get a large network. If you do not have a large network, you're probably not going to see that. Um, it's just a fact of you know uh, natural Ethernet topo topology. Um, <clears throat> you could see that, you could not. I mean, it really depends. Uh, it's like I said, uh, mostly on um, like bigger networks you're going to see that. So it's very important just to know the fundamentals. Um, the unicast, like I said, there's nothing wrong with the EBNT. Um, it does have bottlenecks it, itself, but you are you're able to talk back and forth with the EN2T and say for instance like you get a brand new system that comes in but you have to tie it in to do some prod cons or do some uh, communications back and forth. 